Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell, tell Rick in accounting I'll get him that report by Friday, okay? Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Anyways, the other night, my ego completely dissolved. I was lying there, and it seemed like an eternity of no ego. Everything that has ever happened will happen, and is happening, is happening right now. All of space is just a construct so we can understand our universe in these forms. I remember being very confused by the word I, and very confused by how I was using this before in a sentence. I eat, I eat, I eat. What is I? Because it didn't make sense to me at this time. It still doesn't really make so much sense to me. I still don't understand. What is I? Now that I'm outside of the ceremony environment, I realize that the word I is a, is a construct that makes everyday life more practical because we are individual bodies walking around so I but it's more like a placeholder it's a very fuzzy placeholder see I saw what consciousness actually is this universal shared entity hyperdimensional entity that was filling these little vessels that we call humans top down just filling one vessel as a woman, it's a child, these vessels are born, they grow, they die, they mate somewhere in between to make more little vessels, the consciousness pours into this, and it became startlingly clear to me that, okay, the consciousness is obviously not mine, the, the awareness is not uniquely mine, my body just seemed like a vessel, sort of a temporary container of consciousness. And so that's why I became very confused about the concept of I. What is that referring to? What is I, I? So I thought, okay, maybe it's my ego. So where does my ego live in all of this? It's definitely not in the consciousness sphere. And it's not in the body. And then I realized the ego is a projection of the mind. And the ego is not necessarily a bad thing. Our collective individual egos form our history on the planet. That's what makes the story here so interesting, is all the egos put together. Some egos are bigger than others. Some egos are, are grand and change the world. Like Genghis Khan, Hitler, Obama. I'm sorry to put them all in the same sentence, but you know what I mean. Some egos come and go without anybody noticing except their direct family members. Collectively, these egos influence each other and they write a very interesting story. But this is all it is, it's a story. It's the human story is written by the ego. The bodies are these things of mass that are just vessels being plopped, born, they die, they mate, they die, they... and the consciousness is definitely shared. So I was like, what exactly was I referring to with the word I? No, I still don't understand. What is I? It's so deep in our language that even as I explain my confusion about the word I, I have to use the word I. I'm still a bit confused. Today, a girl pointed at me for something, and I pointed back at myself confused like this thing you you're pointing at this thing and i had to sort of have a moment to, to come back down like ah oh, she's associating this thing with me so i'm gonna try to have a normal interaction with her now uh in this state in this egoless state i realized that the only numbers that make sense in this dimension are zero one and infinity coincidentally one divided by zero, you put a few limits on there if you want to be mathematically correct, but more or less one divided by zero is infinity. So these three numbers are related even in our dimension. But in that dimension, uh, in this egoless state, I realized that these numbers are also placeholders. And in fact, even the mind that's having these visions and these experiences on ayahuasca is a placeholder for what some people call the observer, the uncognized mind, consciousness, but zero, one, and infinity. Those were the choices that were given to me in this dimension to navigate it. You can either become nothing, you can become everything, or center in on oneness and realize that they're actually all the same. No matter which routes you take, zero, one, or infinity, it's all the same. It's everything, it's nothing, and it's one. Yeah, that's it.